Awesome Sauce Network's coverage of CES 2016 is brought to you by Need for Seat. Go to needforseatusa.com for the ultimate gaming chair experience for your desk and office. And Corsair. They make good products and you should buy them. What's up, guys? Welcome back to CES 2016. This is coverage from Awesome Sauce Network. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content so far. I'm here at the Cooler Master booth with Carter. How's it going, Carter? Going well. Got a couple of products here to show you. What do we got? I see a lot of keyboards. Tell me about the keyboards. All right. So first up, we actually have our Devastator 2, which is uh, the prequel to our uh, the new the Devastator, which is our best combo unit on the market currently. But what we wanted to do is infuse some of our own technology, which is our new Switch which kind of incorporates some of the technologies of the hybrid switch as well as the mechanical switch. So what we did is it actually mimics that of the hybrid capacitive. So you do get a tactile bump, but without the click. And as well, you're also going to actually get the uh, Cherry MX compatible keycap on the slider itself. So this is a great uh, option for someone trying to get into the mechanical uh, market. They can actually buy the, the combo unit purchase it potentially maybe a, a keycap set, something that you know would be compatible if they wanted to make the jump next to some of the higher end, larger uh, mechanical keyboards on the market. Yeah, and just like pressing the keys right now, like I actually brought my 10 keyless uh, Nova Touch keyboard with me to CES for editing and stuff. And just coming right up to here and like pressing the keys, just first glance, like I honestly couldn't tell the difference. If you told me that they were straight pure Nova Touch switches, I would completely believe you. So that's nice that you're actually uh, introducing this as an entry level kind of price point option for, for those who are trying to get into that field of mechanical switches. So that's exactly what we were trying to do. So it's actually very, very much like a mechanical. We could actually call it mechanical. It's gonna hold a 50 gram um, actuation force. It's a double layer membrane with a, um, with a half sphere on top, plus the actual slider, which gives you the MX compatibility. What that does is truly mimic a true mechanical feel. The double, uh, the double layer is also going to give you the longevity of a standard mechanical as well. So you're looking at 40 to 50 million presses on, on these keyboards as well. And, and these are completely compatible with like other Cherry MX uh, keycaps if you wanted to swap them out? 100%, and we're using all standardized rows on all the keyboards you see here. Awesome, what, about, what else we got here? We got some funky colors going on. Is this RGB? This is RGB, but it's a little bit different. So the you always hear RGB, you always hear Cherry, um, or even just RGB in general without the Cherry. These are gonna be genuine Cherry switches, but what makes them a little bit unique is we do utilize the Cherry housing, the Cherry RGB housing, which is a clear transparent housing, but we actually, Cooler Master is, in our DNA has been very well known to produce and cool LEDs. So what we did is actually utilize our own technology incorporated into the Cherry RGB housing, which is gonna give you very vibrant colors, a clearer, brighter white, and you can actually have a much more concentrated light on each individual keycap. Something that's really cool about these two particular uh, keyboards as well is you can actually do all the functionality on the keyboard itself, or we also offer the software set if you want to kind of tinker and toy with it a little bit more. Awesome, and uh, I, I see that you guys have also stuck with the uh, detachable braided USB micro cable, uh, which is really nice to see, right angle so it doesn't accidentally get you know messed up or whatever from handling. Um, awesome, and then we've also got, so basically is the difference here is that this is 10 keyless and this has a uh, number pad? Correct, so there, this is the Master Keys Pro S and the Master Keys Pro L, the two biggest or our two best selling and most well known um, you know, layouts, the TKL as well as the full size. So the feature set is gonna be entirely uh, the same. The only difference is you have dedicated four profile keys on the 108 key. Awesome, looks really good. And uh, what kind of uh, Cherry MX colors are gonna be available between these two boards? Uh, immediately upon launch, you're gonna have blue, brown, and red, but it is possible in the future that you might have alternative uh, switch types as well, switch colors. Excellent. And uh, MSRP, possibly? Uh, I mean, nothing's been entirely set in stone, but look anywhere from the 139 to 169 range. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Carter. Awesome. All right, guys, now I'm over here on the other side of the Cooler, Cooler Master Suite. It's pretty huge. There's a lot of stuff here. But now I'm talking to Brandon, and Brandon's going to tell us about this case. How are you doing today, Brandon, first Great, of all? Greg. It's Greg. I'm glad to be here. Greg, do you call me Greg? Yeah. All right, thanks Thanks a lot, Ben. Uh, so what's up with this case? Uh, this is uh, the first case, the first time I've seen this case, actually, um, and uh, it looks pretty cool. What can you tell me about it? Uh, well, this is our Master Box 5, um, and what's really cool about this one is we've kind of taken what we've learned from our Master Case series, and this is more of a simplified version, but it has features a lot of the same interior functionality that from our Master Case series. Um, we're working right now closely with some of our system integrators um, to see what kind of configurations most people enjoy using. It has a lot of uh, area on the inside, fitting many different size keyboards or uh, 
motherboards inside. We need to start over. I'm bad at this. Eh, tomato, tomato. Anyway, um, what we're doing right now is we're kind of going through our system integrators to see what kind of systems they're per ordering for their customers. Once we figure that out, we can figure out what most you know end users are going to need. But the great part is this, the modularity on the interior of this case is in such a way that we can put many, many different things. It'll fit whatever your current needs are plus future needs. Very cool. Awesome. And uh, is, is this going to be available for purchase at any point in the future or? Down the road it will be, um, but right now we're focused mostly on the system integrators. Okay, cool. So um, if is this something that you guys are accepting feedback now from like other like potential customers if they have some opinions about it? Is there a place that they can contact you and be like, hey, I think this would be really great to maybe implement in the future? I think we're always looking for feedback um, from customers or system integrators, um, especially with this case. We've already received a lot of positive uh, feedback because they've seen that they can do a lot of cool things with the case and the functionality and the flexibility of it. So, so far the feedback has been very, very positive and we're really glad that we've come up with a product that a lot of people seem to like at a price point that a lot of people are really going to enjoy. Awesome. Ed, can you allude a little bit more to the price point or is that hush-hush for now? Uh, it's hush-hush for right now, but let's just say you're going to get a lot for your dollars. Awesome. Well, uh, Thank you so much, Brandon, for uh, sharing this with us. It looks really promising. Thank you. All right, guys, now we're here talking to Dennis, and Dennis has a pretty cool cooler for us to take a look at. That's a funny play on words there. Uh, but Dennis, what is this cooler, and what does it do? This is the Master Air Maker 8. Um, this is our top-of-the-line air cooling cooler. So um, what's cool about this is the modular design that we do have. You can see these in the full system. We provide a front top piece that's interchangeable, so it gives you to two different, totally different looks. As well as it comes with a 140 millimeter fan and it comes with brackets that you could change off to change it to 120 millimeter fans. And another part cool thing about this is our we improved on our vapor chamber vapor chamber technology where we infuse the heat pipes directly into the chamber. So it gives you cool, better efficiency on cooling and overall performance. Very cool. And so like basically these brackets to uh, you know essentially maybe like go down to 120 millimeter might be good for like potential clearance issues if you have like memory clearance in your case um, or maybe you just have a, a really solid pa uh, pair of 120 mils sitting around and you want to use them you have that flexibility available. Right. It really does, it depends on what kind of system you have and it really, re it really caters to what you need and what you could put in your system. Awesome and let's so let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, at this guy over here this is so this is an example of that potential cover plate um, that, that you kind of swapped out with, the, with that one and it gives it a completely new look. It gives you a Totally look, you can see from the two designs right here, one shows the bolts and one doesn't uh, completely cover it up. Awesome. Well, I know you guys have like this this new thing where you're going modular for, for and completely custom with like your cases, master, master case pros and stuff like that. It's nice to see you guys kind of taking that philosophy and translating it to other components as well, like this cooler. Right. And uh, is this, um, is this, did you already mention pricing and availability? Sorry if you did. Uh, so it's, it's going to be available January 2016, actually this month. And MSRP is set at one twenty nine ninety nine. Cool. I'll, I'll be expecting one on a porch in a few weeks. Thanks. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Dennis. Have a good one. Before I go, I want to give a huge shout out to both of my sponsors for CES 2016. Need for Seat offers high quality PC gaming chairs which feature memory foam padding for extreme comfort, built in lumbar support adjustment, and sturdy aluminum bases for the utmost durability. You can check out needforseatusa.com for the ultimate gaming chair selection for your desk and office. And Corsair, they make coolers, cases, memory power supplies, and much more. You guys know them, you love them. Go ahead and check out their YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Corsair. They have a lot of great content on there, or see what they're up to on their Twitter account, at Corsair. Thank you guys for watching. My coverage of CES 2016, and I'll see you guys in the next video.